Assalamu alaikum friends, my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Odo Technical Developer. We have a YouTube channel with the name Odo Discussions. So if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, so please go and subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos. We are regularly uploading useful videos that would uh, help you uh, to make Odo, to understand Odo better. So let me uh, get back to the topic here and uh, in the last video we have discussed uh, about the automated actions like what uh, what actions we can perform by using automated actions without adding the uh, actual code. For example, uh, if someone is uh, using Udo Cloud and they cannot upload any customized uh, modules or custom code so they can achieve a lot of functionality using uh, server action so for example if uh, they want to add a restrictions or uh, some kind of warning message on a duplication of the products like uh, if if you want to restrict users uh, that they cannot duplicate the products you can do it with a uh, server actions sorry you can do it with automated actions so for example uh, let me go to uh, settings uh, first of all you will have to activate the debug mode uh, as always i uh, show you how you can activate the debug mode and then you will be able to see the technical uh, menu item and then go to uh, here under the automation you will see automated actions so here uh, let me create a new automated action here update the name of the automated action like prevent uh, duplicate products and uh, here I will have to choose the model on which I want to apply the restrictions so I have to uh, choose here like products which is uh, this one and if you want to verify the name uh, you can just click here and you can check here the name like products and product dot product so this is the model and then i will have to uh, choose the action the trigger condition like when this uh, server action should trigger so i want to uh, trigger it on the creation of the record so whenever someone create a new record this uh, server action should be triggered and it should check whether the condition are fulfilled or not and here you can add some domain like on what uh, records you want to apply this server action for example i want to apply it on uh, those products which have internal reference so if if it does not have an internal reference then it should not uh, check further duplication so let me just search for it like internal reference um, it should be inside i uh internal reference like this one so let me uh set uh, internal reference is set so only uh only choose those product which internal reference is set so save this and um, this is it we have added the domain and then we will have to uh add action to do so what i want uh here a, here I want to add a Python code like uh, to check whether uh, there is already a product exist with this reference so if the product does exist then it should raise a warning message so for this purpose I will have to add a Python code so you have the option here to add some Python code which is very simple so I will have to choose the first option execute Python code and this option will appear here so these are some available variables that we can use in our python code so first of all what i need to do here is uh, to check for the products uh, that how many products are available with the reference that i am adding so for this purpose let me just add a variable products is equal to so whenever you uh, search inside the model you will have to use env so env is Udo environment on which the action is being triggered so here we will have to add env and then uh, breaker and then quotes and then here i will have to add the model so we want to search inside product or product and here we will have to use the search method like this and then add the domain 
so what should be the domain like its default code equal to uh, record dot default code so let me explain here that what is default code so uh, let me uh, tell you again that uh, I want to add a restrictions that a user should not create multiple products with the same reference so for this purpose I will have the the field name is uh, the field name of the internal reference is a default code it is the technical name of the field so if you want to uh, if you want to find out that what is the technical name of the field on which you want to add the restriction so let me show you here if I go to the sales and then uh, open the product here uh, let me open any product and let me uh, how the cursor or here so this, here you can see the field name is default code so here I have added a search condition uh, by applying the domain that if the def that uh, give me that uh, search all those products uh, whose uh, default code is equal to the product which I am currently creating so record means the record which I am currently creating and if uh, so here I will have to add uh, a condition if length of uh, these products so if the products uh, uh, so products is a variable which will contain uh, the records of the products which have same uh, internal reference so if the length of the uh, products variable is greater than one this means that uh, the products variable contain uh, two or more products then here we will have to raise a warning warning that uh, inside the code that you cannot create duplicate products like this so the if condition will check whether there are multiple products with the same internal reference if yes then raise the warning message if not then uh, go with the flow so let me just save this automated action and let me go to the product uh, model and let me create a product uh, just for example uh, I will add a product with this uh, internal reference to check if the uh, validation is working fine or not so testing and let me add the internal reference here with the same uh, is uh, already have a product in the system so let me click the save button and here we can see we got a message you cannot create duplicate products so but one problem in this case is for example if I remove it and then if I hit the save button so it allow me to save it and then I can add again like this one and then this so there are two products with the same internal reference this uh, so the user can create duplicate products like this so for this purpose uh, we will have to uh, change this trigger action like it should be triggered on both on the creation of the product and also on the updation of the product so let me this and in when you uh, change the trigger action then you will have to define that on which field updation you want to trigger this action so I can add here like it should be triggered only if the default code updated so let me just add it here so by adding the default code in the vast field uh, so then whenever a user update the default code uh, field uh, it will check whether uh, there are uh, multiple product with the same uh, reference if yes then it will raise a warning message if no then it will uh, update the field value so let me just save it and then let me uh, check if this is working or not so let me edit it and then let me change it here uh, like adding one and then let me save it so it will uh, allow me to save it because there is no other product with this reference so let me just remove this one and this time there is another product with this reference so let me just click the save button so you can see you got an error message like you cannot create duplicate products 
so we have added the restrictions on both on the updation of the record and on the creation of the record and this way you can add the restrictions anywhere on any model like if you want to uh, add the restrictions on the contacts uh, or on the vendor or customers you can do it uh, like this way so thank you guys for watching this video if you haven't subscribed our channel yet so please uh, click the red subscribe button to subscribe our channel and also get and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos so if you enjoyed this video please give a huge thumbs up thank you